Hey, this is Luis with CIS Inks. Um, I'm here to basically show you guys how to install the MG5420. Uh, we previously made a video for the MX922. Um, the installation is actually pretty similar, but a lot of people were getting confused. So we decided to get the printer and do a proper installation video for it. Um, you know, like any other installation, you want to make sure you use your demo cartridges first or else the printer's not going to work. So we already used that on this particular printer. Uh, so our system is pretty much ready to install. So first thing we're going to do is open the cover. Alright. Once you do that, just move ahead into position for you to install the cartridges. And the first thing you're going to notice here is that there's limited space going this way and limited space going this way. So we're going to route the tubes a little bit differently than, you know, standard installations. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab CIS. Let's take it out of the plastic wrapping and packaging. Alright, All right, so um, the first thing you want to do is always grab a paper towel, have it in handy. These cartridges are sponge type cartridges, so they're going to leak as soon as you take off this orange pedestal. Keep that in mind, please. Um, so it might be a little messy, but it shouldn't affect anything or uh, as how it prints. So I'm going to go ahead and separate these cartridges. Alright, so once again, you should always have a paper towel handy, and this is what we're going to do. Um, first, we're going to make sure it's in the correct order. Alright, it is in the correct order. So, we're going to remove the pedestals one by one. Alright, so first thing you notice is as soon as I remove the first pedestal, there's a pool of ink down there on the bottom of the sponge itself. You grab the paper towel and just dab it on top of it. Once again, it's it's a sponge type cartridge, so you know you should always expect it to leak even a little bit. Okay, you gotta be careful. Make sure to set up a work area. If you don't, you know you risk ruining your good furniture. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, so you know, just give it a few dabs. Make sure not to contaminate yellow, and all your other colors should be fine. So I took off my pedestals already, so I'm ready to install the cartridges. But right before I do, you have to install these rubber washers. Um, this is basically adding a layer of protection, uh, so these cartridges don't leak, as you can see. So um, I already have the rest of this, these uh, rubber washers installed, except the big black ones. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. So this is the way it's going to go in the printer. The thinner side should be facing you when you're when it's going in there like this, okay? So I, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. You should always have a screwdriver in hand to try to press it in because it has to be flat in there. So it might require someone with small hands or maybe some tweezers might help out in this situation here. Fortunately for me, my hands are pretty small. Alright, so once you got the washer in that cylinder in there, just go ahead and press it in to make it as flat as possible. Make sure there's no wrinkles in there. And then it's pretty much ready for the rest of the cartridges. Once again, I installed all the washers already, so I just wanted to show you how to install that big one. Uh, next step would be grabbing the cartridges now and then, you know, popping them in the printer. So here we go. It's going to be messy once you flip them over, so always keep that in mind. Alright, all lights are there. Uh, so this might be a little messy here, so you might want to maybe grab some tape and tape it together, make it as flat, flat as possible for me. It's fine right now. I'm just going to basically uninstall this as soon as I finish the installation. Um, so next thing would be adding this clip here, and this is going to go right on the Canon logo here. So keep in mind that once you install this clip though and install the CIS, you can't use the CD tray anymore. So if you're planning to use your CD tray, I would recommend getting refillable cartridges instead. So um, this is actually the easiest step here. 
take off sticky backing and it should be facing up this way it's gonna go right where the C and the N are okay so um, you know like any other installation you're gonna leave just enough slack for it to move left and right so you could always push it with your hands all right it's all the way right push it to the left it's all the way to the left okay so this is right right there the lid's gonna remain open and you will, and that's something a lot of people don't like but you know it's limited space in there and there's no way for that lid to close uh, so what I did here is I basically cut out a piece of cardboard rectangular shape and this is going to go on the um, on the cover sensor so the cover sensor is actually located here in this corner see so that's the cover sensor in there so we're going to jam this piece in there once you do it's going to start charging the ink so while it's doing that you could go ahead and unplug the air vent holes from the from up here oh I got a recognition error here so give me a second you know usually recognition errors are easily solved you should, most of the time just popping that out and locking it back in would actually do it so let's see if this works it looks like it works so while it's charging the ink and doing whatever it needs to do, you know, these are already unplugged, so this is necessary. You go ahead and install your air filters. Alright, so air filters go on top of the tanks here. Fat side first. Alright, and you would have to do that for all, all colors, so I'm not going to show you all of them because, you know, it's not really necessary. So once everything's pretty much ready to go, look at the printer screen here. So um, basically it's ready for printing if, um, well what I'm actually going to do is run a nozzle check. And this is what the nozzle check looks like. Uh, we did have to do a cleaning before we got this result, but it came out fine after. Alright, uh, one more thing we just wanted to add. Uh, the initial installation for this was actually through here in the middle. We actually found later on that you could um, actually put the clip here on the right hand side. So you could use a T-bracket to spin it up as it is here. And just leave enough slack for it to move to the left. Uh, and doing that should actually you know, make it work just fine.